Hello everybody! In this video, I'm going to show you how to install, configure and use a Linux subsystem in a Windows operating system. Windows 10 will soon develop support for any Linux applications, even those having a graphical interface. The Linux subsystem in Windows was introduced back in 2016, though it supports applications selectively, works slowly and only from the console. Microsoft announced its plans to roll out update WSL2 that would guarantee starting Linux applications with a graphical interface and hardware acceleration. But for now, Microsoft Store offers versions with a console interface in the form of the terminal. Ubuntu, Kali Linux, SUSE Linux and even Debian. Also, the new terminal is already available in the store. This is a new unified environment where users can access the conventional command line CMD, the PowerShell tool, and Windows subsystem for Linux. In today's video, you will see how to install them, configure, and start using. And I'll show you what the new terminal is like. Hello, friends! If you need to recover deleted data, view or restore removed browsing history, Hetman Software Products will help you. Follow the link in the description, download the necessary program for free, install it and analyze the disk. The utility will show you the data you can recover, so you will be able to view it or get it back. In our channel and blog you will find solutions to any problem, from installing an operating system or configuring it to fixing possible bugs and errors or optimizing mobile gadgets. Our specialists will answer any questions you ask in your comments under the videos or articles. To start using a Linux subsystem in Windows 10, you need to enable it in the settings. So, go to Control Panel, Programs and Features, turn Windows features on or off. In the window that opens, check the box for Windows subsystem for Linux. OK. After that, the computer will restart. Open the Start menu and launch Microsoft Store. Type Linux in the search field. Install the distribution you need by clicking on the Get button. When the installation is complete, the corresponding shortcut will appear in the Start menu. Click here to launch the program. It needs some time to decompress the files, so be patient. When you open it for the first time, give the super user name and the password. Type the password again. Now the subsystem is installed. This tool will be especially useful for web developers and administrators. The subsystem allows to use specific applications that are only available for a particular operating system. For convenience, the subsystem should be configured properly. Let's modify the registry so that you will be able to open a bash window from any folder, for example from your project folder, instead of having to type the path to the folder every time. This would be very convenient, right? For this purpose, download a rag file and open it on your computer. I leave the link to the file under the video. If you want to check everything before changes are applied, you can open the file and see what exactly it is going to change. Right-click on the reg file and select Edit. Double-click to merge data and agree to make changes. After that, the new option will appear in the context menu. Now you can open a batch window from any folder. The next step would be configuring Bash, that is, installing the environment for the subsystem. A set of utilities to work with Gulp or Jekyll. Let's install Node.js, Gulp, RinRef, and NCU.
For example, let's install ScreenFetch. apt install ScreenFetch. Here is my Ubuntu subsystem version 2004 bash. MC also works here. apt install MC. MC. Here you can view system files and folders, and MND will display the drives you can access. As I said before, there are different versions available. If you are a system administrator or security engineer and you need to monitor a network for security breaches and other issues, there's Kali Linux for you. If you are using OpenSUSE, uh, there is a SUSE version too. You can also install the new terminal, which you can find easily in Microsoft Store. The updated version is more stable and some new features have been added. For example, now you can open several tabs at once. To open a new tab after the terminal is started, click on the plus icon on the tab panel or press the keyboard shortcut Ctrl-Shift-T. Move between the tabs with the conventional keyboard shortcuts Ctrl-Tab to jump right and Ctrl-Shift-Tab to jump to a tab which is on the left. Ctrl-Shift-W closes the current tab. Tabs can be dragged right or left and their order can be arranged the way you like it. By default, the terminal opens a PowerShell tab, but it supports other shells as well. If you click on the arrow down icon, you will see other options that include Command Prompt, Ubuntu, and Azure a Cloud Shell. In the new terminal, you can even find emoji. Just copy and paste it here. Text scaling is supported as well. To zoom in or out, hold down the control button and use the mouse wheel. If you hold down Ctrl Shift and use the mouse wheel, you can change transparency of the terminal window. Also, the terminal contains some adjustable settings which you can modify by editing the JSO file. To open it, click on the arrow down and then choose Settings. Here are the options you can modify. Key bindings, color schemes, custom backgrounds, and default profile selection. Visit the Microsoft website for a detailed manual on editing the JSON settings file and a list of all settings that can be modified. Find the link in the description. With Windows Terminal, Windows users now enjoy lots of options that used to be available in macOS and Linux only. Windows Subsystem for Linux will make things easier for web developers and administrators of Unix servers who have to work in Windows. So if you ever need to use Bash or additional features available only in Unix and similar operating system, you don't have to install Linux and use a dual boot configuration. And that is all for now. Hopefully this video was useful. Remember to click the like button and subscribe to our channel. Hit the bell button to receive notifications and never miss new videos. Leave comments to ask questions. Thank you for watching and good luck!